Hi guys, it's Laura and today I'm going to be doing my Fairy Loot unboxing. So for those of you who do not know, Fairy Loot is a monthly fantasy based subscription box where each month there is a theme and this month theme is Warriors and Legends and you basically get a bunch of goodish items and a new YA fantasy release and I am very excited for this box because I am almost 100% sure I know what the book is and I'm very excited about the book. Plus, it's my last one for like a while anyway because I'm saving up for a holiday and summer in general so I can't buy any more but I'm very excited and I'm gonna get into it. First part is a struggle because I can never open it without embarrassing myself. Oh my god. See? Ah, here we go, that was easier. So of course the first item in the box is like just the card which has the theme on the back and everything that is in the box. I'm sure it's by so I'm going to put that to the side. But the first item that I see is this. And it's Warriors and Legends Jasmine and Lynch Green Tea. A special fairy loot limited edition tea. Can I open it? Oh. What's that? Oh it has instructions. Oh it's tea. Okay. So this tea is a celebration of Chinese history and heroism. Ooh, I do like green tea. I've never tried jasmine and leech green tea mine. I'm not going to attempt to open it, but the packaging's cute as well. So I'm actually gonna keep that little tin. By the way, this was by, created by the tea leaf company, Steal a Moment, I think. That's what it says there. Anyway, uh, next item is, oh, it's in the Wick of Mist. Um, It's a candle, a vegan soy candle. That smells amazing. Oh my God, it's, I think the scent is mist, warm stone and wood smoke. There's like nothing spectacular about it, but that's like the little thing, but it does smell. I can't, you can smell like mist. Does that make sense? I don't know, but yeah, that's, that's really tiny and cute as well though. Like, oh, I have so much, I have so many candles and I don't even burn them because they're too pretty and nice smelling to, to burn them as weird as and stupid as that sounds. Next item is all this. Um, <laughs> next item is, oh! Celtic socks. Celtic warriors are fearless, skilled and deadly and it's beloved believe that women fought too. Fairly exclusive. It's socks and I believe the I'm assuming that the person who created them is Celtic socks. They feel nice anyway. And it has the fairly thing on them. I, they feel quite like comfortable. I'm I'm not gonna look, I'm not gonna look, I'm not gonna look. Celtic Socks, that is the company who made them. So these are created by Celtic Socks. And they feel very warm. And I'm always trying to hunt down socks because I can never find any in my drawer. So that's very handy. And I hope they fit. The next item in the box is this bookmark created by Ink and Wonders Designs. Um, and it's like kind of wooden feel. And it's um, one ring to rule them all. And it's a really pretty design. I love like the blue because blue is my favourite colour so that's really pretty. I literally am collecting bookmarks now. It's just kind of happened. The next item is, oh there's a little discount code from the Tea Leaf Co. Steal a Moment Company. That's cute. Anyway, next item is World Mythology in Bite Sized Chunks. Oh my god, is this a book? It's a book. It's a book. We have another book. Untangling the complex web of de 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 something I can't say. Monsters and myths. This is the perfect primer to world mythology and it's Extraordinary impact on cultures past and present. Oh, that's kind of cool. I mean, I'm not really that interested in mythology and stuff. Oh my god, they have the Chinese zodiac signs. Where's my one? Um, what am I? I don't even know. I think I'm a rabbit. I'm a rabbit. Rabbit people are homebodies who like to be surrounded by family and friends. They are genuine in personality, very trustworthy, and will avoid conflict at all costs, which makes them very easy prey. Oh, that's great. I mean, that sounds very like me, but I don't really like the sound of being easy prey. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's cool. I might give it a go. Yeah, that's cute. By the way, this was by Mark Daniels. I don't know. I'm assuming that's wait, what it says on the card. I'm not going to look at the card anymore because I have a feeling I'm going to ruin myself. Anyway, next thing in here is, oh, it's a little um, sampler of a book called Nai oh god Nai Nayondel Nayondel the Red Abbey Chronicles by Maria Tertianinoff I said that fab I do apologize 
Um, but yeah, that's a little, it's like the first chapter of it, so that's cute. And the next and final item in the box is, I believe, oh wait, there might, might be something else. There might be something else before the book. Oh! Oh, cute! It's a pen! It's a feather pen! I've always wanted something like this, as weird as it sounds. You know those, like, feather pens that you get? Yeah, that is cute as hell. Oh my god, who made this? It's a feather! Like, as weird as it sounds, I'm very excited about the feather. The... Um, no warrior will be fully equipped without their trusty quill, it's a quill, to sign battle treaties, right? Well, the metallic feather pen brought to you by Flora's Wonder M... M wow, I'm so bad at saying things. Emporium isn't quite a quill, but it'll save you from getting ink stains during the battle. There you go. That's cute. I like that. I almost got it. I almost didn't see it. It's very nice. And now, I believe, I'm, am I right? Am I right? Yes, I'm right. Okay, now we're onto the book. I'm very, very excited. Imagine, it'd be so embarrassing if it's not what I think it is. I mean, it'd be very awkward, to be fair. But let's find out. Okay, I'm very intrigued. You ready for this? I'm gonna just close my eyes and try and grasp this. One, two, three. By the way, I think it's the fla Flame and Mist or something like that, in case you're wondering. Flame and Mist! I was right! I'm very excited about that, as weird as I sound. But yeah, Flame and Mist by Renee Adia, he, Adia. I cannot say her name, I do apologise. <gasps> I'm so excited. This is basically, from what I know, is a retelling of Mulan, and not there's never been a retelling of Mulan. And it sounds amazing, and I'm very excited about this. Plus, for those of you who do not know, Renee Ad, Adia is the author of the Wrath and the Dawn duology. I believe do not quote me but i am almost 100 percent sure of that um and i really really want to read them but i haven't got them because our covers in the uk are not nice so i'm waiting to get my hands on the american cover so yes this that it sounds so good praise for the wrath and the dawn say wrath and the dawn she did she did she wrote the wrath and the dawn okay so fine but I'm very excited about this. Plus, the cover is very, very pretty. And I'm just over the moon that I actually guessed this book right. So, it says, um, from the New York bestseller, New York Times bestselling author Renee Adia comes a tale of murder, betrayal, and one girl's courage. I'm very excited about this. It seems very, this is going, this is like on the top, one of the top of my TBR. Not the top, but one of the first books I'll be reading after exams. Probably, because I can't get into fantasies when exams are going on, because that will just mess with my head. I'm going to stop ranting. Yeah. As well as the book in the little pouch, we also have... Oh, cute! We have a little, um... Oh! Oh! Okay, this is the letter! You get a letter from the author, and she's uh, she's typed it, and it's on this little cute, um work art artwork artwork yes it's artwork why am i saying work art this is very cute i will read that later and we also have fairy scoop warriors and legends um obviously um we have about the author and interview with the author and stuff and i believe you also get next month's theme which is elementalists and you get a, like, there's a pillow a pillowcase and everything in this and i'm very upset i can't have it but yeah in case you guys wanted to check that out that is june's theme um, what else have we got in here? We have a, a bookmark flame, called from the Flame in the Mist. And it says, as swift as the wind, as silent as the forest, as fierce as the fire, as unshakable as the mountains. Flame in the Mist. That is a cool quote. Oh my god. We also have another bookmark with the design of the month on, as well as a book plate from a sign book plate from the author and a little fairy loot buddy reading code thing with Tricky that you get and I believe that is everything yes that is everything so that is all for my May Fairly unboxing I hope you guys enjoyed I am very very happy with this box I cannot wait to read Flame and Mist I cannot wait to try this tea and I cannot wait to not burn this amazing smelling candle because I'm just not going to burn it let's face it but yeah anyway I very 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 much enjoyed this box I am very happy with everything in it and if you guys want to go and check out Fairy Loot I will leave their link down below and yeah, if you don't don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you again soon with another video. Bye guys!